today we're going to answer the question of Santiago Garcia. Uh, he was wondering what voltage do I use for shading and lining. Um, and basically, uh, I personally run my machine and power supply at 8 volt, 8 sorry, 8 volt. Um, I'm using Shack BLT20 that should come on the screen hopefully here and uh, Critical Power Supply GX1 I think that's the name. Um, the Shack BLT is quite uh, powerful so um, I run it at 8, some people run it a bit higher. Um, but yeah, because I run it at 8 for lining and, and shading, I like it like that because I can just go through my tablets really quick. Um, but if you like to have more peppery shading, just I would recommend it to you maybe. And then you use it just lower, 7, 6, depends on your drawings, your tattoos. Um, but also I just wanted to just answer this question because I realized uh, a few of you were always wondering the same question, at what volts, voltage I was using it. But it really depends on what you're using and uh, if you don't use the same power supply and the same machine, then you're going to have to use something else, you know. Um, using the voltage like I do, um, I don't think many people keep the same voltage for shading and lining, but I just like it like that. I think for me it's just a quick way to smash the tattoo through. Um, but yeah, it's going to be different for everyone. So if you want to try it, try it, but I think it's going to be good for you to just like try something else anyway, basically, just to discover as well. Also, uh, another question that I found that was quite uh, coming quite often. Um, that was from very rare and other people, but I was asking for any tip how to use white ink. Um, there's not really tips for it, but I found it for myself a bit easier to go slower and backwards because um, the white ink on, on the surface of the skin is not going to be, um, it's not going to stay in and age really well. So like I really go a bit deeper and a bit slower so I can see really the ink underneath the skin. Um, there's only way I use it. I've, I've, known, I've known that a few people were struggling with mixing the black and the, and the white sometimes, but um, I think I just use like a new tube and new needle as well. Uh, and I don't try to clean it, I just use something new so I'm sure the white's gonna stay perfectly uh, clean. And then, um, yeah, it's pretty much it. Like, I mean, yeah, you're gonna see on this video that's coming uh, on the Scorpion, I'm putting a little bit of white slightly, so I might not demonstrate what we're talking about, but I think. You're gonna see that I'm really going like a bit deeper, a bit just like intensely on the skin, on the ear. But yeah, that's it. That's a simple trick um, that I'm using. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Go comment below and I'm gonna to try to answer them uh, on the next videos. So don't forget to like, subscribe. And I'll see you next time, guys.